So just recently I've been starting off my mornings with a large glass of water mixed with some baobab powder. It's a superfood powder and you mix it into a little paste and then fill the glass with water and with everyone still having cold and the weather being so cold I feel like this is a great way to start the morning and it really helps build my immune system. So this is what I've been doing recently. So this morning I decided to try Esme with some avocado on toast. So I had a plate of oranges which I also gave her a piece, she loves sucking on oranges. And then I had uh, the rest of the toast that I've made for her and I just added some hemp seeds and some tomatoes. Um, so yeah, that's why it's a little bit of a random sized piece. Um, and then I just sat and watched her eat her orange and finished drinking my water. For my smoothie, I'm going to add some bananas and some frozen pineapple, some frozen blueberries. Then I'm gonna add a couple of medjool dates and I'm gonna add a big handful of spinach. Then I add all my superfoods, so I add some chia seeds and some wheatgrass powder. Then I'm going to add some spirulina powder. A couple of walnuts, some hemp seeds. Then I'm just going to top it with some filtered water and blend it all up. I know that the colour of this smoothie isn't very appealing but um, there's so much goodness packed into there. I'm finding this really great um, having this each morning or at least at some point during the day to get extra fruit and veggies in and to get all the superfood powders in which give me plenty of minerals and vitamins that I might not get in my food throughout the day. Whilst I'm breastfeeding Esme, I do try and stick to having only one coffee a day. I have two maximum um, and yeah, I just love a good coffee and I had this filter coffee in because I made coffee cake the other week. Um, so it was a nice treat and I also have found this new oat chocolate milk which I love having my coffee with now it sweetens it just right and I don't need to put any sugar in which is great so I'm going to enjoy this now so for lunch today I decided to make a quick and lazy and very easy one pot pasta um, or spaghetti so we just had spaghetti and then once that had cooked a bit I added some peas to cook through and then I used a jar of passata that I get from Aldi. It's a basil and oregano one. Um, I find these really, really convenient when I just want to do a quick pasta or a quick spaghetti and it tastes really good. So I'm giving that a stir in and then I'm going to add some greens, some spinach. I'm struggling to stir it there with one hand. And then I'm going to add some nutritional yeast. Give it a good mix in. And then I will serve it up. I'm going to add some sunflower seeds on top. And some of this everyday seasoning. Um, my mum got me into this recently and it tastes amazing so I literally put it on almost everything and then we don't always have garlic bread but today we chose to and yeah it was delicious. For an afternoon snack this day I decided to make some crunchy chickpeas. So in a bowl I added the chickpeas and added a pinch of salt, a couple of teaspoons of paprika and a dash of pepper. And then I sprayed a little bit of olive oil onto it and gave it a good stir. Um, 
um, I'm going to make them in the air fryer because I just find this so quick and easy and convenient. So throw threw those in at 180 for 12 minutes and yeah, they were a nice little crunchy snack for the afternoon. We ended up with another lazy tea um, because we were busy packing as I were going away this week. So we ended up with the new Wicked Vegan Pizzas from Tesco, the barbecue flavour and some sweet potato lattice, lattice chips. So not brilliantly healthy but um, yeah that was what I ate in a day. So if you enjoyed watching this video please subscribe and like it and I will be sure to make more of them. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.